Now you see him. Okay, you're almost done. Good luck. You don't even want to give me a kiss goodbye? Okay, back to the castle. Alright, we're back. Let's go talk to daddy -o. Tell him that I came back from the dangerous place he sent me to. The final task, you're almost done. Your highness, just relax. Good luck. Pietro had completed his trial to succeed his father. King Paolo and Queen Sonia and all the people of Popola Croix celebrated this wondrous event. But for all the good wishes and merriment, Pietro felt uneasy. Something the prophecy he heard. Bothering him. This peace is not going to last. Something bad is happening. I'm next in line for the throne. I'm actually going to be king someday. Will I be as great a king as my father? There was an old man I met in the Cave of Kings. He said when I had acquired the true treasure of the kings, the future would be brighter. I don't know what the true treasure of the kings is, but no matter what lies ahead, I know I'll be fine, because I'm not alone. I'm gonna figure it out. Hmm. I wonder what he's pondering. Let's test him. He is the chosen one. Uh oh. Book two, Dark King, Goddess Trap. Shortly after the completion of Pietro's trial and wonderful celebration, the people of Popola Cross became anxious and excited because a new life, a princess would be born. Ah, oh, the baby's going to be born today. Into the royal family. Mm hmm. Not yet. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Paolo, calm down. Uh, Dad? Uh, you should relax. What do you mean? I am relaxed. Why did you say that? <laughs> Pietro, kings do not have the luxury of panicking over every little thing. Mm, a steady demeanor coupled with compassion is essential for one's character. Outside the walls of the castle, the world will teach you many things. You're growing up into a strong young man. I was known for my strength, too. You, Dad? Yes, back in my day, I was known as the Lion-Hearted King. Wow, a lion? How did you get such, such a name? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, anyway, I remember when you were born. The baby! My lord, your highness! Congratulations, Queen Sonia just gave birth. There's a new baby princess. Ah! We got a sister. What's her name? Hmm. What's wrong, Pietro? Uh. Come on, what are you thinking? It's about my sister. <laughs> what name would you pick for her? Me? Pick a name? When you were born, your mother and I decided on your name together. So how about you come up with your sister's name? Uh... uh P <laughs> Pieretta. A kind of, like, girl version of, of Pietra. Puni Puni Puyun. Elena sounds nice. I would want to actually play Puni Puni Poo you and that would be funny. Um, <sighs> Elena's like the default choice, it sounds more boring. Puni Puni Poo you I know what you're trying I know what you're trying to do, but that's not going to work. Oh <laughs> Pieretta? Pietro Pietro, be serious. Oh, so they won't let me pick those anyway. 
Elena? Elena. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> nice to meet you, Elena. Little Elena, may I hold you? Oh, look at that. Her hair looks just like mine. See how Pietro has grown. I will be retiring soon. Really? Who is it? Dad? Paolo? Your strength and pride are gone now. Wouldn't you want to be the powerful Lion King again? The Lion King. That's what you were known as. Can't you just taste it? All the power and honor you once held? No. I love my people and my family. I just want to protect my country. That's all that matters. I don't dwell on the past. I don't dwell on the past. But that's not a true heroic Lion King. You used to be so skillful with a sword. What would you give to have those skills back again? You could challenge your son, Pietra. I... I don't know. I don't want to think about it. As King of Popolo Croix, my duty is to protect my country. But don't you want to stay on the throne as the mighty Lion King? Time marches on and no one, not even the gods, can stop it. <laughs> You're not easily persuaded, are you? <laughs> How about like this? No! <laughs> well, I'm impressed. You have amazing stamina. But don't resist me any further or you put your precious baby daughter's life in jeopardy. No! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright! You're such a fool. You should have done this long ago. Your power as the Lion King combined with your human strength will serve me quite well. Now you will be regarded by all with dread and fear. <laughs> Pietro, and I will overcome you. You won't win. Dad! Dad! No, Pietro, get back! What? No! D Dad? Oh no! Paolo! I've been awakened. I'm the Lion King once again, filled with the power of darkness. Wake up, Paolo! Ah! He just threw the baby? Mother! I challenge you, son of the dragon. D Ted? So you can't get up? Are you afraid of me? How droll. Then I guess I will just have to finish you off where you lie. What? No. No. Dad! Dad! Get back, Pietro. I've made a terrible mistake. I couldn't resist the evil. What are you saying? Forgive me, Pietro. Sonia. I have to leave. Damn, that was unexpected. Dad's a badass evil warlord. M mother Pietro, where's Elena? Mother, what happened to Dad? Paolo, your father was possessed by a dark mind. A dark mind? I sensed the evil spirit just before it entered his body and awakened the Lion King. Is he okay? He'll come back, right? Pietro, listen carefully. A strong, dark spirit has taken over both his mind and body. He had been resisting it with his mind, but eventually he was overwhelmed and gave in. Mother, I will bring him back. I will go and rescue him. Wait. This is a national crisis. We need to gather our army and plan a strategy. Pietro, go to your room and wait. All right. But I want to help.
Dang. My dad is psycho. Should go to my room and wait, right? Do I not need to go to my room? Oh! Oh, what the hell? It's a portrait of my mother. Pietro entered the souvenir shop. I did not know this was here! What the hell? Okay. So this is like a secret souvenir room? Huh. Pietro! Narcia. Gilda said she felt an evil presence enter the castle. I came to ask if she, anything had happened. Did anything happen? Well... <clears throat> King Paolo was possessed. An evil spirit overtook him. I must go after him. But I don't know what to do. I need to free him from what dark spirit... From that dark spirit somehow. Pietro, I may be able to help. Can I come with you? But won't Gilda be mad if you do that? It'll be fine. Please, let me come. Thank you, Narcia. Your Highness, why did you call us? Don and gone. This country is in crisis. We are at your beck and call. We are passionate about our service and await your command. My command? Please tell us what to do. Your Highness, we can't just stand by if the king is in danger. We must get the king back before the people start to panic. Consider it a secret mission. That's what it is. So, what do you think, Your Highness? Uh, maybe. Well, I'm so glad to be of service. Ah. So when do we go, Your Highness? Now, I guess, right? <laughs> So, first though, before we go, um, I want to go here. She's going to give us a Melia orb. Um, and I'm going to give that to. Can I equip it? I thought I could equip it. I know it's a useful item for that much, right? This right here. Summon Melia. Um, it's a jewel. So I can summon something up. Um, I must be missing something here about skills, but... Uh, um, I know the Meliod thing is supposed to be useful, though. I also need to upgrade at, at um, the uh, armor person. Are you the person? Nope. I don't know why there's robots here, but... I'm not gonna question that. It's weird. Weapons armors and all that jazziness. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's get a bit of upgraded equipment. Alright, so I'm, I made my way over to Gilder's Treehouse uh, after recruiting these three. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Gilda, I must tell you. You don't have to tell me, I already know what happened. King Paolo's mind has been trapped in darkness. Dad. Pietro. Many years ago, before you were born, King Paolo was known as the Lion King. He had a, another son named 